Thank you for coming. Gracias por venir, compañeros. Who played Metal Gear Solid? Anybody play game? Only two jugar? people? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How many people want to learn how to make video game? A ver, ¿quién quiere aquí aprender a hacer videojuegos? There you go, there you go. I think we need to bring video game company here. What do you think? How about, how about video game comp uh, how about we bring in Tijuana Comic Con? Right? Now we're talking. My dream is to bring Tijuana Comic Con next year with the VR experience. Mi sueño es traer el Comic Con aquí a Tijuana el próximo año, eh? Right? I have been coming to Mexico. This is my fourth time. I've been going to Comic Con. My friend is producing Game of Con, Mexicali. I love it here. This is my first time here in Tijuana, but you guys need to have a Comic Con right here in, in Tijuana. Aquí en Tijuana necesitamos tener un Comic Con. Es mi right. primera vez aquí en el Tijuana Nueva York. He venido ya durante cuatro años consecutivos. Tengo un amigo en México, en David Con, que también trabaja en este ambiente. I noticed a lot of people into manga, Japanese manga, anime, right? Naruto. Sailor Moon, uh, One Piece, right? Gundam, everybody, right? Yamato, they all love Japanese manga. I believe there's so many talents here in Mexico who want to draw manga. Young people. So I want to bring video game and I want to make video game with you guys. Quiero hacer videos, videojuegos con ustedes. Quiero traerlos para acá, para hacerlos juntos con ustedes. Right? And you guys have a technology here, and a lot of talents, a lot of musicians, and I think I could create the new video game, horror video game, aquí pueden, in Spanish. Aquí se van a hacer videojuegos porque aquí está el talento, aquí está y aquí tienen todo lo necesario para hacer videojuegos. Yo quiero venir para acá a hacer un videojuego con ustedes. En el VR, horror game en VR, japonés horror game. Un juego japonés. ¿Qué do you think? Right? ¿Cómo la ven? Muy bien. Everybody knows I I wrote music for video game for 20 years. Now we team up. We're making driving experience in VR, drifting game. It's called Feel SD. You want to talk about music? Sure, I'll give, I'll give you a little bit of my background. When I was uh, about 16 years old, Un poquito acerca de mis antecedentes, cuando tenía 16 años, Rap music was just starting to explode on the East Coast. I'm from New York City. Apenas comenzaba a desarrollarse la música rap ahí en la costa este de Nueva York. At that time, Run DMC, Curtis Blow, they were the big artists. Uh, there was one kid that was really talented in my neighborhood. I said, everybody stop rapping. He's the star of the neighborhood. That happens to be uh, LL Cool J. I started producing him. Uh, produced his first four CDs. After that, I started producing for Tupac, some of his biggest songs. Allá en aquel entonces empezaba a desarrollarse, a darse el talento del Cool J. Eh, en aquel entonces, hace unos 20 años, y, poster, y yo le produje unos discos al Cool J, y luego también eh, a Tupac. Le produje un par de discos a Tupac. Then I discovered the artist named uh, John Forte. John Forte wanted to sell two, three million records on Sony. Uh, and then he joined the group called the Fugees. Then after that, I got hired to do all the marketing for Def Jam Records. And then we started shooting a lot of videos and for the label, and they gave us the marketing budget to launch in each market. Bueno, empecé a trabajar con varias compañías discográficas, produciéndole varios, eh, a, a varios artistas, hasta que llegué a este punto de estar produciendo lo que estamos trabajando ahorita, en, este, en estos momentos. That was the early part of hip hop. Cut to the late 90s, that's when... Uh, estamos hablando de finales de los 90s, que era la primera parte del hip hop, ¿verdad? That's when the video started to explode at that point in time. So we were hired to take Def Jam from the East Coast to the West Coast to the South, which we did that. Uh, our company was responsible for selling about 50 million records for the whole entire label, and we made the label 
what it is today as far as en aquel uh, entonces se nos contrató para llevar esa música de la costa este de Estados Unidos al centro y luego a la costa oeste y hasta el momento llevamos unos 50 millones de discos vendidos bajo nuestro sello so for the very first time when I first came to LA I was 16 years old and uh, we took this picture in the Hollywood Walk of Fame after that 30 years later we wound up getting a start in the exact same spot that I predicted in January 2016 that just passed. Uh, LL called me up, he said, hey, E, come on down, we're getting the star. I said, no way. Right when you predicted 30 years ago. So, the bottom line to it is you have to really believe in what you're doing and stick to it because you're going to have bumps and bruises along the way and you have to st stay true to yourself and, and keep pursuing your goal and never give up on your dream. A lo que vamos compañeros aquí, se trata de ser persistente, de ser combativo, de seguir en lo que uno cree que creer en lo, en lo que uno está haciendo y seguir aunque se tropiece uno, aunque se golpee, hay que seguir siendo persistente en sus proyectos. I'll pass it back to Rika, she can tell you more about Fearless D, what we're doing right now with our VR Innovator. Le paso el micrófono a mi compañera para que les diga qué es lo que estamos haciendo en estos días. It's not moving. <laughs> It's not moving. Oh, there you go. Okay, this is in garage. You see the Ferrari. This is just the beginning of, you get to pick, let's see. Whoops. This is not moving. Okay. The game is about fuel is D. Does anybody know Initial D? Initial D, you know Initial D? I have an original DK, Jeff King. He is going to be our face for the game. Initial game, initial D. So I call it Fearless D. So we have a Kenichi Tsuchiya on board with us, driving. Uh, it's his and the racing. He's, it's his simulation. It's his driver. He's driving. And it's going to be VR. So you get to be like DK, Drift King. Estamos hablando de la simulación para poder jugar este juego que se llama Fearless D, donde uno tiene aquí precisamente sus anteojos para poder estar simulando toda la experiencia de llevar este juego. I don't think anybody knows uh, except him. Uh, <laughs> Initial D was the biggest hit uh, manga, right? And it's about the drift racing game, drift driver. And Kenichi Tuchiya is like a god in the racing field. Kenichi Tuchiya. So we have him, uh, it's his uh, overseeing everything for our game. So it's like with the virtual reality. Does anybody know virtual reality? Have everybody tried? Try everybody? You want to show the VR? Yeah, Let's uh, get the, let's get the, you wanna get the VR? let's get the bag over here. Bag, get. Capacitor, great. I want to show you that uh, this is a cell phone VR that we are developing with the PC Vive, HTC Vive. Uh, you have about 110 degrees. So, and we also developed with the Oculus Rift. That's about 210 degrees. So you have a 200 degrees. So you feel like you are really in the reality. With this, you can't even tell the difference. You are virtual or reality. That's how great the technology is right now. Esta tecnología es tan buena, es tan grandioso que simula hasta las temperaturas. Estamos hablando de 110 grados, 210 grados, incluso. Entonces esta es la tecnología en la que están trabajando actualmente para simular esta realidad virtual. So we create creating about four platform right now. Uh, one is the Vive, HTC, Oculus. Uh, the Samsung Gear VR and PSVR, of course, the Sony, the last. Uh, I want to go, because we're independent, we just became independent developer two months ago. Quiero decirles que apenas hace dos meses nos independizamos como empresa, ¿no? Como microempresa, y esto es precisamente lo que estamos actualmente trabajando. Un celular adaptado a esta tecnología. So, this is how my dream started out. Así es como comenzó mi sueño, quiero decirles. I was filming Tsuchiya Kenichi drift racing two years in Japan. Dos años en Japón trabajando con Tsuchiya Kenichi. 
para desarrollar este producto y sacar este, esta tecnología. So, I want to make drift racing game. After I worked with the Konami 20 years, Hideo had a difference between Konami. He decided to go for his dream, I decided to go mine. Bueno, hace 20 años tuvo unas diferencias con Hideo, él decidió, Hideo decidió seguir su propio sueño y yo decidí seguir mi propio sueño. So I decided, you know what, I need to make my own game. Y es por eso que me dije a mí misma, bueno, yo necesito hacer mi propio juego, desarrollar mi propio juego. So I decided to make cutting edge VR, virtual reality, y es racing eso, game. Por eso que me decidí a desarrollar este producto, que es un producto de carreras, que se llama Fearlessly, de realidad virtual. The racing game, everybody loves gays, racing game. A todo el mundo le gustan las carreras, ¿no? Todo el mundo le gustan right? los juegos de carreras, a todo el mundo, ¿no? You get to feel like you are the racer. Ahora sí que la sensación es como si uno estuviera participando realmente en una pista. Especially with the VR, you feel like you're in it. You are going to be the DK. You're going to be the one you are driving. You're going to be having the car. Con el VR, con el VR se siente uno como si fuera el piloto, como si estuviera conduciendo de hecho, ¿no? So with this game, you get to pick a real drift driver from Japan, you get to pick your favorite D1 driver. Con este juego puede uno seleccionar a su piloto favorito de Japón en este caso. Let's see. Uh, this one doesn't... Oh, uh, okay. This is... And also, this game is not just a game. I'm going to show and teach how to make regular car modify into drift car. Ahora, quiero que vean, que sepan que esto no es nada más es un juego. Aquí se les puede enseñar a modificar, a alterar un vehículo para que se convierta en un ve de vehículo convencional a un vehículo de carreras. Ahí nomás. So this is not just a game. It's like a, if anybody wants to become a driver, drift racer, you get to modify your own car, and I'm going to have a virtual reality shop within the game. Bueno, si alguien se va a querer convertir en un piloto virtual, bueno, aquí tienen la oportunidad con este juego, que no nada más es un juego, como le decían, sino que uno puede modificar su carro, y para eso vamos a tener precisamente un taller virtual para poder hacer los, las alteraciones, las adaptaciones, y tener nuestro propio vehículo. Most of the parts you can only get in Japan, so I'm going to create the shop, and most of the parts you have to be custom made. Ahora, en la mayoría de las partes de los repuestos se crean, se desarrollan, se hacen, se fabrican en, en Japón. Entonces, como ustedes van a querer desarrollar las suyas, entonces van a tener que desarrollarlas a su medida, personalizarlas. Mm. Okay. So I decided to make not just a game, but shopping experience. Ahora, no solamente entonces se tratará de un juego, sino de una ex experiencia completa de comprar un producto. Well, this does, okay, hair set. So we're going to have a vibe. The one in above is vibe. Um, this is have more, it's, it's a connected with the computer PC. So it's more high resolution. So what you see right now, can you see it? How do you like it? How do you like it so far? You, saw, you like it? It's for the cell phone, but the PC, you have a more resolution, high definition. Con una, una PC van a tener una mayor resolución, como estamos escuchando, en comparación con el teléfono. With this game, the, his parts come really important because him being a Grammy Award winner, we are going to have a top artist from. We're going to have all the top uh, hip hop artists, R&B artists, pop artists on the soundtrack. We're going to release the soundtrack six months to a year before the game is released, so we can promote the game before it comes out. Each quarter we're going to drop a new single with some of the behind the scenes video. We might actually shoot a video or two videos mm -hmm. for some of the singles to promote the game. Come NBA All-Star Weekend in, in uh, February, it's going to be in New Orleans. We'll have a party there to promote the game. And we'll have like family week where the NBA players can bring their wives and kids and they'll, they'll see the trailer and they'll actually uh, get to meet Tanichi, uh, Rika, and myself. 
to promote the, the release of the upcoming game a year later. Bueno, para promover este disco lo que hacemos es por lo que vamos a hacer ahora en febrero del año próximo es reunirnos en New Orleans precisamente para hacer eh, para mostrar el trailer a la gente que vamos a invitar el adelanto el trailer. Tomando en cuenta que yo soy un ganador de un Grammy, pues eso me da a mí precisamente las herramientas para promover. This is a copy of That's him. When well, he's 17, 17 years old, before and after. This was us right here at the Soul Train Awards when we won the Soul Train Award. This is myself, LL Cool J, DJ Cut Creator, DJ Bobcat. This is us at the Soul Train Awards again. And this picture right here at the end, this is uh, January 2016 when LL got a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He said, e, you got to come on down because you took the original picture and 30 years later, I'm actually receiving the star exactly where I predicted 30 years before. Bueno, todas estas fotografías son con los diferentes artistas con los que he trabajado. Aquí está, como ejemplo, El Cool J. Y la fotografía a la izquierda es la que les, es la que les estaba platicando precisamente 30 años después de que yo pronostiqué que iba a ganar el premio, aquí estoy, le dije a ER, vénganse, aquí estoy 30 años después, precisamente sobre el paseo de la fama de Hollywood, para que vinieran y e hicieran constar que precisamente les cumplí la promesa. The stars located right outside the Hard Rock Cafe on Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. Acuérdense que ahí está este en el Hollywood Boulevard, ahí en el corazón de Los Ángeles, California, este paseo music. de la fama de Hollywood. These are some of the artists that's going to be on the soundtrack. We have Neo. We'll have uh, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, LL, and uh, probably Nicky will do the theme song for the game. When the, when the game is introduced, you'll hear the theme song every single time. And then we'll have artists such as Wayne and uh, Kanye and Drake on the soundtrack, as well as some other hip hop, um, as well as some other R&B artists and, and some pop artists also to give it a different mix. Como les decía, eh, van a ser artistas que van a trabajar en este proyecto, cual es Snoop Dogg. Este proyecto se empieza a promover con seis meses de anticipación a la liberación comercial del producto, precisamente para que la gente conozca quiénes van a estar actuando, entre ellos Snoop Dogg, como decíamos, ¿no? The soundtrack will be produced by Rick and myself. Maybe we'll bring in one or two other different producers and we'll shoot the videos that will promote the soundtrack, which will promote the game. Este, estas pistas las vamos a producir precisamente Rica y un servidor, a lo mejor invitamos a algunos otros productores, precisamente para que trabajar en, esta, en este proyecto de muse, musicalizar It's este okay. juego de pista de carreras. So these are my team right now developing the game. They have done a Call of Duty, uh, Activision, Blizzard, all kinds of game. I cannot. Todos los diversos juegos que tenemos también a su okay, disposición, el equipo de trabajo que mostré hace un momento. That's not. It's it's. Anyway, so we have a lot of things. That's going to be the VR next year. Aquí está el VR que les estaba comentando que va a salir precisamente el año que entra. Hay muchos proyectos en los que estamos trabajando. But I also want to make this in Spanish because 40, most 40% 40 people speak Spanish. So I want to localize and bring Spanish artists, maybe from Tijuana, who knows? Igual, como hay mucha gente que va a utilizar estos videos, ¿por qué no involucrar artistas de Tijuana para que participen con la musicalización de la versión en español de este producto, no? ¿Por qué no? So if you know anybody who's got talent, let me know. Si conocen a alguien, inmediatamente avísenles que hay talento aquí para colaborar en este proyecto. Maybe we should do a talent search, talent search yeah. right here in Tijuana. Absolutely. Right? Next time I come. Right? Right? Everybody come up and sing. Sing, rap, dance. El que cante rap, aquel que baile rap, aquí adelante. Aquí es cuando. It could be the Philly Steve video game. Soundtrack. As well as the soundtrack. In the video, in su version in Spanish, pueden aparecer como artistas. Okay. Uh, is this it? I have another video um, that I want to show. These are the things we are doing with the developing video game, but we also have a contract with the UCLA. I want to show the videos so people could see it. También les quería mostrar un video que estamos trabajando con la Universidad de UCLA aquí en Los Ángeles. Precisamente quiero que lo vean. Can he play the video UCLA? Si Can you tell him? Por favor, video de la UCLA? This is about the, okay.
So stroke is an assault on the central nerve system, meaning the brain. The brain is uh, consume about 20 to 30 percent um, of the oxygen we breathe when we don't move. So any um, cut of supply of that oxygen to the brain would essentially lead to death of part of the brain. Two ways in which you can cut supply to the brain. One way is when you have a blood clot in your cardiovascular system and then um, the supply will be cut and then that part of the brain will die due to the lack of oxygen. The other um, option is when one of the blood vessels in the brain will erupt and bl blood will start leaking into the brain, will create pressure on the brain tissue and that brain tissue will die. In both of these cases, you will end up with a condition called stroke. Stroke e would, uh, would affect many functions of your body. Some of them are cognitive, some of them are motor. Uh, in its effect on the motor control, what is typically will happen is that half of your body will be paralyzed. One of the way to recover from stroke is uh, through physical therapy. What is done in physical therapy is a human is typically interacted with you one-on-one -on -one and would move your body over time. You know, what will happen to the brain during this uh, period of time, the brain will start rewiring itself. It relates to a phenomena called uh, brain plasticity and brain plasticity is the ability of the brain to create new neural connections for those who are lost. What will happen uh, during the process of stroke, part of the brain will die. And during physical therapy, meaning motion of the human body, the brain will essentially rewire itself all over again. Uh, typically, what will happen from the motor control perspective is that the stroke will bring you back to an infant level of motor control, meaning that once you have a stroke, your capability of moving is like an infant. You need to recover brain functions that will allow you to function as a full functioning adult. Uh, what you see behind me is a fourth generation of an exoskeleton system. Um, it has seven degrees of freedom, very similar to the same degrees of freedom that there are in the human arm. And it, its primary role is to assist people in uh, recovering from stroke. What is unique to this system is uh, what is known as mirror image symmetric motion. The, the idea behind it is that every time we move our arm in a certain way, the brain is sending the same signals to the left arm to move in a, in the, in a very similar symmetric mirror image fashion. So any motion that we do would essentially uh, would look like that. The, the reason why I can move my, my single arm and let the other arm um, stand still is because the brain is sending suppress suppression signals to this arm not to move and I can move only one arm. This suppression mechanism doesn't work very well once you have a stroke. It's actually slowing down the recovery process. So we want to bring back the two arms to move in a mirror image fashion. And one of the modes in which this machine can, can work is we can use we, the, the, the patient will wear, will wear these two arms. The fundamental way of moving is called a mirror image symmetry. And the idea behind it is that every motion that I'm doing with one side of the body is duplicated to the other side. The brain is sending the same signals to both sides to move. So if I'm moving like that, the brain is sending the same signals as I would do this, this motion. Uh, the reason why I can move only with one arm is because um, the brain is suppressing the other side. So th the, that side will stand still and I can move this, this arm. 
the suppression mechanism, especially after a stroke, doesn't work very well. And it's actually slowing down the recovery process. So what we want to do and what we do with this machine is we change the pattern of movement and engage in mirror image symmetric motion. The way it works is, in, typically in stroke, half of the body is paralyzed. Let's say that my left side is paralyzed. So you wear these two arms, and they are connected in a certain way. It's called a teleoperation, meaning that one side drives the, the other side in a mirror image fashion. So my healthy side, meaning my right side, any motion or any joint angle that I will produce with with the right side of this exoskeleton will duplicate to the other side. So all of a sudden, the two arms will move together. In this mode, the recovery process is being accelerated. Obviously, um, right now it is uh, completely coupled, meaning every motion of one side will duplicate to the other side, so the stroke patient is not really engaged in the motion because the healthy side is totally controlling the, the left-hand side. What we can do over time is there is a coupling mechanism between them. It's electric, electronically coupling between the two. So we can make that coupling stronger or weaker. Over time, we make it weaker. By, by doing them, by, by creating that a coupling weaker, we are introducing or encouraging the disabled side to move, uh, to move again. So you need to make an action, otherwise you won't, will not move. One way to describe it is as if you have like two uh, bodies and they are um, linked together to a very strong spring. And when the coupling is high, meaning every motion of one mass will drag the other, the other mass in the, same, in the same direction. When the spring is getting weaker or looser, then all of a sudden you can move one side and the other side can, can be more and more independent. Gravity compensation is when we move, gravity is always trying to pull us down. Okay, we did a study that looked at how much gravity is affecting on the way we move. And what we discovered that is if we are moving in, in a daily activities, 95% of the joint torques okay. or the muscle effort I, I is think dedicated it's, just to fight I think you gravity. got an idea. So seeing all the doctor, the, only 5% of the, doc uh, the muscle just cut? activity is... Yeah. We can cut, we can cut. So, thank you. So, sorry about that, because I know I was trying to explain, other than video game, what I'm, what we're doing with the VR. There's a way to utilize VR technology with the medical, and not just a video game. Because that's what we are interested in doing right now. Bueno, aparte de los usos eh, para VR que ya vieron ustedes aquí en, como en los juegos, también estamos mostrando un interés por el trabajo que se está haciendo ahí en la Universidad de California en Los Ángeles, como lo que estamos viendo aquí con el doctor Rosen. Adelante. What you want to talk about? So, um, for Fearless D, we actually have a shopping experience. I'm creating a virtual reality shopping experience. I'm in Japan. I could come to Tijuana and buy something from Tijuana. Bueno, con este tipo de tecnología podemos, por ejemplo, crear la situación virtual de una compra. Por ejemplo, si yo estoy en Japón, puedo venir a comprar aquí a Tijuana sin ningún problema, de manera virtual. And also, I have a billboard. I'm creating a virtual reality city within the game. Por ejemplo, también podemos crear una ciudad virtual dentro del juego mediante precisamente los espectaculares o señalamientos, así. Maybe I'm, I'm going to create the Mexico, Tijuana. I'm going up in hill. I see casino. I could go to virtual reality casino, play a game. Hasta podemos jugar un juego dentro de un casino virtual aquí en Tijuana con el juego este de realidad virtual, ¿no? So there's a lot of possibility. Ahí están las posibilidades, compañeros. And I think, I believe there's a lot of kids here who wants to get into technology, maybe creating. Bueno, yo veo que hay muchos jóvenes aquí, igual le quieren entrar a esta tecnología hasta crear este tipo de tecnología, ¿por qué no? So maybe we should make, who knows, we should make an incubator 
or after school, kids would come, learn program. ¿Por qué no? ¿Por qué no hacemos una incubadora? De manera que después de que salgan de clases, les podemos desarrollar un programa para precisamente crear juegos como estos, ¿no? Right. ¿Por qué no? Exactly. <laughs> See, there's a lot of people who want to get into this industry, but there's nobody here, so I had to bring here. Bueno, hay mucha gente que le quiere entrar a esta industria, ¿no? No encontré a nadie, por eso yo tuve que venir aquí para empezar a generar este movimiento, ¿no? Right. ¿A poco no? <laughs> How many people want to be a game creator? ¿Quiénes quieren crear juegos como estos, compañeros? ¿Cuántos de ustedes quieren crear, crear juegos como este? That's all. <laughs> How many people are gamer? Play ¿Quiénes, games? ¿Quiénes juegan ese tipo de juegos? There you go. There you go, okay. So I think we need something like that here. Entonces creo que sí se necesita algo así como lo que estamos haciendo aquí en Tijuana. The obstacle is, right now is getting funding, <laughs> finding the right... Funding. <laughs> but I tell you, I was, uh, I was lucky within a half an hour I found a VC fund. Bueno, hasta eso tuve suerte, ¿no? Porque por ahí me encontré con un fondo de VC, ¿verdad? Para poder financiar estos proyectos. Well, when I met Yamaoka-san, uh, Akira, um, inspiró hacer esta música? It was horror. I couldn't watch it. It was so, I mean, it was scary. So it was easy for me to bring uh, ordinary music, but I told him I need tango. Bueno, de la música que mencionaste tú, se me hacía medio así, medio horrorosa, no se me, ya, me asustaba mucho. Tuve que cambiarla, tuve que cambiarla, por ejemplo, a música tipo tango. In Argentina. Así es, un tango. In Spanish. Y en español, por cierto. Tanguito ahí nomás. But I don't speak Spanish. All right, Spanish. I don't understand Spanish. No, aunque no entiendo ni escribo español, ¿no? Para nada. But I know that with the music, with the Spanish sound and the violin, I can make like real scary music. That's how I created tango in Argentina. Pero así es como yo visualicé esta música de tango, ¿no? Con el ritmo que llevaba, con la letra en español, se me hizo que iba a tener el efecto deseado sobre el juego. Thank you. Right now, I'm only developing uh, the game uh, Fair City, and that's the only music I'm writing. Because right now, um, since I'm not working with Hideo, It's hard for me to get a job at the other com uh, company because other people don't want to work with me because I work with Hideo. Bueno, aquí el problema es que como ya no estoy trabajando con Hideo, el compañero que, del que me separé, estoy trabajando solamente del Fearless D y en esta música. Nadie me quiere dar trabajo precisamente como ya no estoy con Hideo, pues nadie quiere tener nada que ver conmigo. So I, that's why I decided to make my own video game. Es por eso que me decidí y tomé las riendas para hacer mi propio videojuego. Yes, horror game in Spanish. Así es. Va a haber versiones en español de juego que usted mencionó. Como han pegado tanto, ¿por qué no, verdad? Um, I hope that this will be hit, and we could make a franchise like a Metal Gear, make film, TV show. I want to come to Tijuana, make a TV show. Miren, o espero que pegue tanto como para hasta hacerlo franquicia, ¿no? Hacer hasta un programa de televisión, venir aquí a Tijuana, promoverlo. Todo eso queremos. Get a lot of kids involved. Y involucrar a muchos jóvenes, muchos jóvenes como ustedes. Maybe I can make a game here in Tijuana. Igual el juego lo desarrollamos aquí en Tijuana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Hello, good evening. Well, I was listening to Mario, and all I heard is da 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 da. I'm like, seriously? I like that music. <laughs> Acuérdense de Mario, ¿verdad? Acuérdense de la música. Turun, 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 turun. So I went to Konami, let me write music for you guys. Entonces ya fue con mis compañeros y bueno, les pedí que me escribieran, que me prepararan música para los videojuegos. So they hired me right on the spot. Así es, y luego ya inmediatamente hicimos clic para trabajar en esto. Hideo asked me to write music, no Spanish, no French, no English, bueno, no ahí está la cosa. Hideo me, me pidió que escribiera música language que, that he could no recognize. Español, que no fuera en inglés, que no fuera en francés. So I decide, okay, how about Gaelic? He looked at me, what is Gaelic? 
me dijo, ¿qué tal el gaélico? ¿Verdad? El dialecto gaélico. ¿Qué es eso? Dije, ¿qué es el gaélico? So next day I bought 100 CDs. Let's listen to Gaelic music. Bueno, al siguiente día llegué con 100 CDs para escuchar música en gaélico, ¿no? He's like, okay, that's it. Así es, me dijo, eso es lo que andaba buscando. So I decided to go island. And I went and two weeks I recorded music. I came back. The best is yet to come. He loved it. And he was listening to iPod every day with the treadmill. Y bueno, ya después, a las dos semanas que se trabajó en esto, ya a esta persona le gustó tanto la música que ya se ponía en la caminadora escuchando la música que habíamos preparado para este videojuego. I never really thought me as a hard. I just want to do things. And I never really thought women's been hard. I think I never really thought of me as a woman. I just want to create. Miren, yo como mujer lo único que quiero es crear. Yo sé que es difícil trabajar en este ambiente, pero a mí me interesa es el de crear. Así que me lancé. So this field is the, I hope we could get Grammy. We Ojalá will. Ojalá que nos den un Grammy, ¿no, compañeros, con este trabajo que estamos haciendo en el videojuego? Ojalá un Grammy, ¿por qué no? All right. We will. We definitely will. I feel it. I, I can so tell. one more question. I think no, he's got questions. Más, por favor. Oh, I, I think working with Hideo was very difficult. Bueno, Hideo, ese fue he's crazy, bien. local. Este, este local, local. Local de la cabeza, like we say, right? He calls me four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. He said, you never sleep. You call me every day. Todos los días me <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>